to get through the majority of anything, it's a mindset. You just gotta have that mindset that go get her, I'm gonna get it done by any means necessary. And it takes what it takes. Man, I've always had that mindset my entire life. I was a fighter, because I was told, you're too small, you're not fast enough, you can't get it done. You'll never make it out of Alexandria, Louisiana. So I always had that chip on my shoulder to like, nah, I'm gonna show you better than I can tell you. Playing the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. I was supposed to be outside the hash. Went up for a fade ball. Was too far inside. Bang! Collision in the end zone. Laid there. Couldn't move. So many thoughts going through my mind at the time. My ankle was tender. My head was hurting. I didn't know where I was at for a split second. Thoughts, will this be my last time suiting up? But something deep down inside was like, get up, move. And you hear the fans out there cheering and it's just lifting me, man. When dealing with injuries, there's plenty of days you feel as if you can't get up, you don't wanna get up, you in just a funk. You gotta have a purpose. Something has to motivate you, but you always have to be reminded by your why. And that's what gets you moving in the morning. Just, just finding ways to get 1% better every day and working at my craft. So whatever it is I can get done, I had to do it because every time that I felt I wasted a moment, someone else in the world is getting better. And what I thought was an excuse or something that I complain about, someone would love to have or be in my position. So I just figured, man, make the most and don't take anything for granted. My advice to anybody that's been doing something for a very long time, <laughs> get 1% better. Never get comfortable. And you can always work at your craft. And that's the thing. You've been doing it for a while. You figure, you know what? I got this. Nothing I need to worry about. But the second you get comfortable, is the second someone pull that rug right from under your feet and you begin to stumble. But if you've been in something for a while, find ways to challenge yourself. Find ways to get better. For me to keep myself challenged is just going that extra rep. Okay, what's something I don't know? I know my position, let me know them all. So it's really just getting outside my comfort zone and just being willing to add different nuggets, different jewels to my game that I can find out to actually make me a better player in person.